Don't even know if you can get caravans in this joint. And we're heading down that bush track right there. Yeah, right. What does the top of the hill look like? So cool. <laughs> no, I can't. Damn it. Well, it's the first time being involved. Look how much we still got to go. Do not tell a caravan down to Poverty Creek. We have just finished four islands and we're about to tackle our fifth. So we're back on mainland and which one are we hitting? We're going to Bribey Island. <laughs> we, we copped so much flack for calling Double Island Point an island. So we thought, let's just add Bribey to the list and yeah. make everyone happy. <laughs> it's not our fault though. Whoever named Double Island and put island on the end blame them we just call it how it is we're from wa we know absolutely nothing so like usual uh we don't know what we're doing we're going into bribey we don't even know if you can get caravans in it this joint camper trailers so we should be right camper trailers pretty different <laughs> to what we're telling we've got a big keith urban 2.0 here and we're just dropping his tires down to 30 psi but check it out it is mint day and we're heading down that bush track right there in the sand is looking pretty soft so we're going to 30 in the in the van and we'll probably go around 30 in the car as well we don't know what to expect so come along for the ride we're probably going to get bogged let's go <laughs> all right so we're about to jump on the track now when we're towing in full drive obviously you drop your tires that's the number one rule whenever even if you're not towing but we always like to go in low range when we're towing off-road uh, it takes a lot of pressure off the engine. Um, the transmission works a lot easier too. It's a, it's a lot lower gearing, so the engine doesn't have to work as hard. And uh, you're gonna lower your torque converter temps. Now, I'm only talking about the people that own automatics, so we have no idea what this track's gonna throw at us. Um, let's get on it and hopefully we make it to, to Bribey. I'm sure a lot of people out there will, will know already what we're about to get ourselves into, but yeah, it's always daunting towing a three and a bit ton van and you don't really know where you're going, so anyway. Let's do it, let's hit the dirt. Look how much we still got to go. This track is gnarly. Do not tow a caravan down to Poverty Creek. Oh. I need to drop low as hell. All right, drop the tires. Well, it's safe to say, underestimated bribey hard. This is where you should, should probably do some research, to be honest, but we love just winging it. Like that's just our thing. We don't do much research and we never have expectations. So we always get blown away by places, but this is the byproduct of that when stuff doesn't go to plan. But it doesn't help that the van is slightly, like a hybrid caravan or a camper trailer would go up here easy because it doesn't plow into the 
um, the side walls. So I've got a few more settings, I can, well, a few more buttons I can push in the car there. But um, yeah, it should be pretty entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> no one around either. First time ever. So what I've done is I, I didn't like bog myself because once you lose momentum, you, you might as well just back it right off and just stop. Let your tyres down before you get yourself really bogged. So don't spin yourself down to your chassis because then you're really in trouble. So the issue we face now is that we're going uphill and it's like real soft. Like look at this. I don't know if that shows on the camera, but it's just powder, eh? Like look at it spitting up this, look at the deflator spitting it up. This sand is super soft. So it's so soft that the car just drove past us. He didn't even want to stop here because you just get bogged even with just a car not towing. <laughs> oh, it just sums, sums it up. But uh, anyway, we're dropping them down. So we should be able to get up here, I reckon. Look at that. Don't know. We should have done some bloody research here, right? We've become a gutser. Oh, all right, I'm almost at the top. Basically nowhere to pull over. Still so soft all the way up there. So if we get to up here, I might be walking far out. Harder up where I'm standing here, but it's like to get across to this bit, it's all so soft. Yeah, right. What does the top of the hill look like up right up the top? It's so soft. All right, so if I make it to you, I'm just going to keep feeding it. And uh, yeah, so I won't be able to stop her, right? So just, just beware, beware that I'm probably just gonna gun it straight past you if I can, if I even make it to you up there. All right, so I'm gonna go backwards a little bit, try to, and um, it's a bit more compact behind me. And the reason I'm doing this is because we're going downhill, that is back that way. So if I can get a bit of a run up into where I got bogged, because I would have made little mounds just then when I stopped. Um, so if I can just get a little bit of momentum, I'm confident here, we'll just pop straight up out of this. And because of my tire pressures now, we'll just get straight out. So traction trolls off, uh, four low. I've got my ultimate nine up. Um, let's see. Let's see how we go. All right, not trying to spin here. Just trying to gradually get on it. All right, now we need to get going. Let's do it. A bit of traction. Oh yeah, got a bit of traction now. Ooh, we're bunny hopping. Yes, Leroy. Come on! Yes! Probably just fishtailing everywhere. Come on, Leroy! Woo! <laughs> yes, this car is freaking amazing. I love this thing. Holy shit. Yes! Woo! Look at that. Holy crap. We stopped. Oh, so we just got through that boggy bit. I've just picked up Sarah, so we've stopped. So now I've got to get going again, but I just ran up. I'm so puffed because I just ran around the corner and uh, she's soft the whole way, I think. So this is going to be a real test for this setup. It's probably the biggest test we've had in the setup. What do you reckon, Sarah? Definitely. Everything we've done prior to this was yeah. easy. But it's so important for people in this situation, if you're towing especially, just don't panic, you know? <laughs> don't, don't spin yourself so deep that you can't get back out. Like as soon as I felt like I was losing momentum, I just stopped drop the tires and then the next option's max tracks because there's literally nothing to winch off out here. You got trees, but it'd pull you off the side. Mm. So, all right, let's see what we can do here. Fingers crossed. All right, we'll go back again and um, get a bit of a, do what I just did. All right, here we go.
So I know for a fact this car is most powerful at around just under 3,000 revs. So I'm just holding it under that pretty much. Um, yeah, so that's knowing your car as well. But a good tip too, oh, it's pretty soft here, eh? And another tip too is actually turn your electric brakes off because if you accidentally touch your brakes, like just have it driving on the road, you'll just bog yourself straight away. So turn your electric brakes off if you're towing as well when you're on the soft stuff. So anyway, look at this. We got hundreds and hundreds of meters of this soft stuff to go still. We've probably been doing 2Ks, 3Ks on this soft stuff. I asked someone at the start, I said, you reckon we'll get down? And he was like, yeah, you'll be right, mate. A few soft spots. Far out. And he wasn't even Australian either. He was a pommy and he had a bit of a she'll be right attitude. <laughs> Bloody hell. Mm. Oh. We've just realised that we haven't put the dust suppression fan on either. And while it looks like it's just sort of like beach sandy, it's like that silty, dusty, Bit of bull black, dust, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. so see what it looks like inside it shouldn't be dusty this is the ultimate test this is probably the <laughs> dustiest we've been with the van so far so we'll see if it's a um a sealed unit or not we'll know straight away as soon as you open that door <laughs> so we just got into poverty creek campground and on the website it says it was booked out to friday so maybe a lot of people are going to come in tonight but there's literally no one here booked out my ass how's this no the ocean ones were booked out this spot was free oh right yeah there you go see i just have no idea what's going on back there i was more nervous than a money launderer at end of financial year tax time <laughs> honestly i was low-key packing it but i've got a boost in confidence because we that was the most gnarly we've Which probably be dangerous kill and getting a boost in confidence yeah to... i was uh pretty liberal on the old right throttle we'll uh, pull up here we'll set up camp we'll show you what it's like around here poverty creek Let's see if it's actually poverty. Oh, we made it. How good's that? So we got our own little bit of bush here. Just pulled up in the corner. Let's see if there's it. Let's see if there was any dust in the, the van. How'd we go on dust? Clean that, sweet And that's where the coffee machine goes. A lot of people ask us where we keep that. Sorry, we're doing a bit of laundry too. But uh yeah, when you do washing, we just had, came from a caravan park. We tried to do some washing there, but sometimes it doesn't dry in time, uh, especially in Queensland because it's real humid. So anyway, do a bit of uh, drying the Savo. Sarah's going to make some lunch. I'm going to unhook and then we're going to check out the, where we are because we honestly don't know where we are. And there's, there's a bit of a swamp in there, right? Just in there. Hopefully we can go catch a mud crab. I don't know if they get mud crabs here, but we're going to find out. <laughs> All right, so we've just unhooked. Um, we've set up, we're at Poverty Creek now. This is on Bribey Island. And Bribey Island's special because it's actually the only island where you can just drive across the bridge. And it's free. And it, yeah, it's free to drive across the bridge too. They're not even taxing people. So there's a full, what would you call it? Like a town over here, wouldn't you? We're out in the national park. So there's a Woolies, all the essentials. But how much is this a night? It was $7 per person per night, but you need to get a driving beach permit. And that was $54 for a week. So it's pretty expensive, yeah. really. We're only staying here for tonight as well. So it's probably really expensive. We're going to go check out the beaches tomorrow. Um, can't bring your dog because it's a national park. Because you'll have fires here. There's, there's fire pits in all of the campsites. Yeah, so. Yep, I'll bang the drone up now and show you geographically where we're sitting and stuff. What we want to do now though is go see if we can catch some mud crabs. So I'll bang the drone up now and we'll head into the mangroves and uh, see if we can't catch a mud crab. I might lose a finger, you know, stay tuned. Ooh. We've just left the caravan and we're on the hunt for some mud crab. You a bit scared? I don't know about this. Look at it, we're in the swamp. We're just around the corner from Shrek's house. <laughs> I've, I've never caught a mud crab, so I'm just, I don't even know what to look for really. But I'll, hopefully there's no crocodiles around here. All right, I'm going barefoot. See your shoes. 
I'm gonna find a mud crab. <laughs> We're deep in the mangroves here. I don't know what I'm looking for, but I'm sure it's got claws. If I find one, we got no tools to catch it either. Oh, here's my shoes. Found them. Come here. Come here. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, yuck. Well, at least we found a mud crab. We just need Sorry, to find it. Oh, I found a mud crab. We just need to find its mum. Where's its mum? That's a kangaroo carcass. A kangaroo bones. It means mud crabs would have got him. Monster mud crab would have just killed that kangaroo. I just got. Oh. Still no mud crabs. I haven't seen, haven't seen Shrek or Donkey either. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. There must be brumbies around here because we've seen a fair bit of horse poo, and then there's horse tracks through the um, mud here. Can you track down some mud crabs for me? We're mud crabless. All right. So if you're watching this and you know how to find mud crabs, tell me what I'm doing wrong and what to look for. Is it tidal dependent? I don't know. Look at this. I feel like I'm in the zone, but I just can't find any. So, yeah. If you know what you're talking about, let me know. Give me some tips, please. Just before we lost hope of finding one, we come across this ripper. Look at the size of him. All of a sudden, I was in a life or death situation with a monster mud Stay crab. Still, let him come to you. And financial year sales are on now. iTech World are having an 85% off sale. You can make that 90% off if you use our code SKT. That'll get you another 5% off on top of their sale price. If you're wondering when the perfect time to buy, this is the cheapest it'll be all year long. So get in right now. It's only while stocks last. Only for this month. That's solar panels, lithium batteries, anything you can poke a stick at. iTech World, SKT. Go get some savings, guys. Uh, we made it. We made it to Bribie Beach, but it is so busy today. It is beautiful down here. The beach is absolutely chopped. There's pea platers with 30 psi boost ripping past. It is anything but relaxing. <laughs> Like one of those Labradors that you see that like has eaten way too much food and it's like really fat. That's how I feel right now. Couldn't run out of sight, I reckon. Oh well, we've come down and we've seen Bribie Beach. It's pretty sick. Far out the water's cold. I thought it was gonna be hotter than that. So we just navigated our way back out of Bribey uh, Poverty Creek. It was a bit of a challenging one. And just remember guys, sometimes it's all about the journey and less about the destination. Normally we do showcase destinations, but this time, hey Sarah, it was all about the journey. It's definitely all about the journey. <laughs> <laughs> we pushed our limits today and yesterday and had a boost in confidence and now we are ripping up the coast. We're heading north. We cannot wait to do some fishing and catch some decent fish. So thanks heaps for watching guys. If you did get any entertainment out of today's vid, make sure you subscribe, like, and drop us a comment as well. See you next Friday. Can't wait to bring you another video. Thanks legends.